We all know what supermarket shopping is like these days. Has it always been that way? Apparently not. Howdy, Ace Young, and thank you for watching the Sheridan Channel, Channel 22, and this particular segment is called Back in the Day. You're probably wondering, well, this doesn't look like a supermarket. It isn't, but it used to be. It was back in the day. And here to talk to us about it, Sheridan native Sam Rodellini. Well, we start, I started in the paint take, it was called, about 1936. I was part-time, and I would do that after school and uh, Saturdays and Sundays. Well, I'm looking at the picture here. It looks like you're delivering groceries, and that's got to be uh, Main Street. That looks like the old uh, Katy building across the street. Yes, it was. The old paint take -and store. About, you can tell those cars there. That looked like about a 1928 model. And... Uh, we we carried all the groceries out, and we wouldn't let anybody else pick them up. We had three or four young men that would do that. Now, pay and take it. I understand that that was kind of a, a revolutionary type of grocery store. Tell me about that. Somebody got an idea that uh, they wanted the people to go through a check stand, and they'd have to pay cash for everything. And it was pretty hard for the people to do that. The people that came in that was used to coming in and give us a, a note and have us pick up the stuff for them and all they had to do was pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. So before then you just would go up to the clerk and he would fill the order. This way you had actually people walking around the store and picking stuff off the shelves. That's right and the one lady came in right after we opened the store and she added a, 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 a nice big long list and I said that she'd have to do it herself you know and she picked she had her cane in her hand and she tapped me on the shoulder and she says I'm not going to pick up any groceries you're going to do it for me so I went over the boss and he said you better do that you pick up the groceries for her. well I'm thinking they probably saved a little money that way yes, too they right? did. yeah there was a lot cheaper things we had people come up from Gillette and different places and they they really packed their cars pretty deep you know I'm looking at some of the prices here Sam this is yeah. crazy hams 23 cents a pound apples 40 pounds for a dollar five yeah, yeah, yeah. those yeah. were the day huh? those were good old days yes uh, I remember we could we had a, a, a would take flour out it was 48 pounds and and uh, they wouldn't dare let a, a woman try to pick up pick up a pound, 48 pounds of uh, flour and nowadays they they could do just all kinds of things but we had to be careful in those days and, now what happened to pay and take it well pay and take it became safeway oh. they became safeway store they changed their name from most of you know from pay and take it when they got that that was a, that's the way it went. Now, for years and years, Safeway was at that location downtown. Yes, it was downtown, and then they moved over on the Alger Street yeah. over there. So uh, that was back in the 40s. Gotta love those supermarket stories back in the day. And here we are back at the Pay and Take It original location here at 250 North Main. You can come by. Of course, it isn't a supermarket anymore, but it's all a part of what historic Sheridan used to be. Thank you for watching the Sheridan Channel, Channel 22. This is Ace Young reporting.